welcome back 54A I bought another toy and uh, I'm not going to waste time spending 10 minutes showing you how to undo a box like some people do really gets on my nerves that does um, it's a scroll saw I haven't done a lot of work with a scroll saw but it's something that is handy to have now and again well I'm hoping it'll appear in one or two videos uh, eventually anyway we'll have a quick look at it there's the box there's the polystyrene you know the, this was in the box the scroll saw was in the box that's the unpacking there it is so they told it was a quick look um, record power main reason I bought this five year warranty other companies take note Axminster etc five year warranty it may not be top of the range scroll saw but it's it's going to be enough for me I'm not going to be doing it as a profession all day it's just something for me to play around with now and again this is more or less how it came out of the box the blades already attached uh, the bed was at a tilt because of packing I suppose uh, all you gotta do is level the bed up put this plastic guard on which probably won't last five minutes but they never do and uh, put the pipe on the bellows for the little air jet that clears the dust away from where you're cutting uh, <coughs> all seems good cast iron base uh, it's a cast aluminium table on it which keeps the weight down which is fine because I'm gonna have to keep shoving it out of the way when I don't want it a um, couple of little niggles you've got a little compartment here to keep your spare saw blades in That's if you can open it it's that stiff but once it's open it's a heck of a job to shut it again but so it's just a little niggle the other little niggle is where you stick your vacuum cleaner this adjustment knob to tilt the table is that close to it it's a bit ridiculous plus the fact the hoover doesn't fit on there you'd have to make yourself an adapter some hoovers might fit others might not but there you go some people might have spent the next 10 minutes opening this bag just to show you what you get inside that's what you get inside two allen keys a pinless blade and the adapters for the pinless blade I'll just set this one up on here it's just a little a jig on the top of the scroll saw put one of the adapters in each one put the blade in tighten them up with the allen key I think the Shepak is exactly the same I've, I have seen one um, probably made by the same people I don't know but uh, these are a right fiddle anyway you have to take this plate out, that's no trouble, that lifts out easy enough release the tension with the knob on the back there take your pinned blade out and you hook these get it, there, little bar there you drop it down there, hook it on same as on the top, hook it on the top there across there and it's supposed to make life a lot easier um, such a fiddle to set up, I don't know if I'm going to bother using it but there you go. I'll give it a try later on see what happens you also get a handy loosen that off like a little clamp to keep the wood from coming up, you don't want the wood you don't want it too tight but it just stops the wood from bouncing up when you don't want it to that's fully adjustable but all I had to do was put this pipe onto the bellows which is there as the machine runs <coughs> excuse me bellows goes up and down little squirt of air comes through there blows the dust away off the line that you're working on let's give it a go it's also got fully variable speed
and a nice light. Right, I've got a piece of sapele here, which is quite a hard wood. I've marked a line on it, a 90 degree angle. I'm going to give it a go. I'm not bothering with this blade guard uh, because it's going to get covered in dust. There's already dust on it now, and you won't be able to see where you're going, so I'm just going to leave it up. Safety glasses on, just to be on the safe side. Let's see what happens. Looks a pretty neat cut to me. Very neat cut actually. I'll try a bendy one. I'm quite impressed with that. Let's try and get you a better view. That's it. Very impressed. That's just really neat. Why didn't I buy one of these years ago? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice smooth finish on that. Unless it's just the standard blade that comes with it, which is apparently just supposed to be quite a load of rubbish. <laughs> but it seems okay to me. I've already ordered some good blades. Uh, but they'll be here in a couple of days so if they can improve on that I shall be very pleased indeed just line that up for you that's pretty good isn't it first time I've ever done the bendy cut <coughs> oh yes there is an instruction manual with it as well and they recommend with the instruction manual that although it may say zero degrees when you set the table just to check it that the blade is at exactly 90 degrees if you if you want it at 90 degrees of course now I've got a small set square here but even with this right up out of the way you can't get it in so you can't check if your blade is level or at 90 degrees Luckily, <laughs> and this isn't an advert, I'll make these little center, uh, pen blank center finders on the 3D printer, which are 90 degrees. Which is a handy little tool to check that I'm exactly at 90 degrees. So there's another use for it. Brilliant. Oh, now I've got it dirty already. It. Anyway, all in all, good value for money. This is a good light on here, very nice light, and it twists round as well. Very nice. Um, so, just to change the blade, go down to this knob here, loosen the tension off, pop your blade in when it sounds like this, 
roughly. You've got the right tension. It's good value for money. If you search around, you can get it for around the 100 quid mark. Someone flee by trying to get 170 or 200 quid for them, which is ridiculous. So just search around on the internet. You'll pick one up if you want one. A great hobbyist jigsaw. Um, whether a professional would use one, I don't know. I'm, it's something I haven't experimented with. But I'm certainly going to give it a go on a couple of items that I'll turn on the lathe. Might just put a bit of piercing into it now. And it's light enough just to shove out the way when you're not using it. Which is a good idea because I'm running out of space in the, in the shed. So there you go, a very quick look at the Record Power SS16V 16 inch variable speed scroll saw. And if you're wondering what the 16 inch is, that's the throat depth from the blade to the back there. Which is uh, more than enough. Which is, in actual fact that means you could work with a 32 inch piece and turn it round, I suppose, something like, you know, in the middle, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Certainly going to get little, probably six or seven inch pieces on done on this. All in all, as I say, value for money. A couple of tiny little niggles, but nothing that can't be worked round. And that's it. Going to get rid of this now. See you soon for the next one. Bye, everybody.